Now, when electricity cables are stolen in Inanda, the power supply is interrupted. But the onus is on residents now to report the stolen cables, and hopefully and eventually the power will be restored. However, the process can take years before it's concluded, and residents are complaining about being left in the dark for so long. Electricity supply in Inanda, Etegwini, is routinely interrupted by cable theft. For years, residents in the area have been the target of cable thieves, and it continues to affect power supply. We have electricity problem here. We can't cook because the electricity was stolen, so we cook outside. We bought this house three years ago without electricity. We spoke to the SAPS communications officer at the Inanda police station, and she does say that she thinks the municipality should have awareness campaigns in the community. Municipality must go out to the community and liars, uh, do campaigns about community theft. We can also go with them there and talk about campaigns concerning electricity and what to do, which steps might be taken in case we are facing the problem. Cable theft is a major problem in South Africa. However, there continues to be an existing market for stolen cables. This is the second time now that the electricity is stolen. Usually when we wake up in the morning, one can see cables hanging, that indeed there was cable theft. We would then go report the case to the police and they would give us a case number. Cable and electricity theft continue to be a major problem for the community of Inanda. The community are often left to deal with the far-reaching negative consequences. This is Tiseto Matieta for SA Decides in under KZN. And Tisetso Matsietza uh, joins us from Inanda now. Uh, Tisetso, maybe just tell us in terms of the Easy Nyoga campaign, the national campaign, in trying to prevent cable theft, if that hasn't reached uh, the community of Inanda, and what is being done to make sure that uh, power is restored? <laughs> good evening, Cindy, and good evening to the viewers at home. Cindy, what we have um, been seeing in the past couple of days is that uh, the community of Ematigwe in Inanda are complaining about cable and electricity theft. Um, the, the cable and electricity theft have far-reaching consequences, and the Izinyoka campaign has not um, come to this uh, community. We have spoken to the SAPS communications officer, Captain Simelani, who did say that she does encourage the municipality to come to Emadigwe in Inanda and address the community and uh, have awareness campaigns around the cable and electricity theft because these are some of the things that um, will reduce the theft in the area. Cindy, we have been speaking to a few community members who are saying that as rate um, payers at the municipality, they are inconvenienced in a major way because they have to go for years without electricity. With me this evening, Cindy, I've got um, May Yunus who will be telling us some of the inconveniences caused by cable and electricity theft. May Yunus, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Please tell me, what are some of the inconveniences that you have experienced due to cable and electricity theft? case. <laughs> Smana Samba gets your check who took Hambaganjani, Gualaxuamase and Gitumela Futogok to now a corner, Guatuanesego expail. So Sessi City is Kati, Sisoko Langenda Baga case, Angas Gubambe Gop. Okay, hello. Sessna three years. Okay. Cindy, as you can hear from one of the residents at Emati Kweninanda, May Yunus, she says that she's gone three years without electricity and every time they go to the municipality, they tell them that they claim from the SAPS has expired. And Cindy, what we've also noticed is that some of the far-reaching consequences um, in the area um, are such as kids getting killed by uninsulated um, wires, electrical wires, and also um, having residents going for years without electricity. Back to you, Cindy.
Yeah. So you also mentioned the syndicate that there is a market for cables uh, and of course this leading to the inconvenience of the community. How forthcoming are they with information, particularly uh, in ensuring the apprehension or rather the arrest of the perpetrators? Sidi, when we spoke to the communications officer, Captain Simelani, she did mention to us that they're trying to, to do their best in um, arresting these perpetrators, but they need the community to work hand in hand with them. And at the moment, it's extremely difficult because they're not getting any information from the residents. All the residents do is come to the police station and open cases, but as far as uh, telling the, the police who the perpetrators are, it's, 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 um, it's you know an impossible mission at the moment. So from SAPS, they they pledging that the community work hand in hand with them to um, curb this this uh, pandemic that's happening in the community. Back to you, Cindy. Thanks so much.